Hi, in this video I will talk about automation rules. The automation rules pertain to re specifically to relisting. So if for example a listing ends and you wish to automatically relist it, that's when these rules can be applied to that listing. So in order to manage your relisting rules, you have to use the many option tools then within that options and from the top you see there is an option say auto relist and there is an auto relist so click on auto relist it's, you have to enable it in your preferences first enable listing automation rules and enable feedback automation click on save once you do that then you can enable relist rules as you can see right now I have no rules created so let me start by the definition how do you create one so in this case the very first option selling status says when should the rule be applied so the options are apply always or only if your listing ends up unsold only when then this rule should kick in and then this the next box is set quantity for when the new listing is to be created let's say the listing really get ends in unsold and therefore the rule applies now what should happen to the quantity so keep the original quantity or only the unsold quantity so this is useful when for example it's in a multi multi quantity situation where you original listing had a quantity of 10 4 got sold so 6 is still unsold and since it's un still unsold this rule will apply only if unsold it will apply but what should the quantity be for the new listing should it be the, the original one which is 10 or should it be the unsold one which is 6 so that's what this is indicating and this next one is is for the price what should happen to the price keep the original price or you want to modify the price for the relisted listing so if I want to set a new price I can say plus or minus by by how much percentage if I say minus 10 it's 10 percent down or I can just 10 which means it's plus 10 which means increase the price typically you don't increase you on a realist case you try to decrease the price but yeah you have the option similarly when should the listing should be created so it says immediately after the listing ends this rule will fire immediately and create the li new listing immediately or if you want to wait a certain hours and minutes then that's where you can enter the hours and minutes this is an extremely important checkbox the new listing will borrow the rule so this essentially saying so you start with listing listing number one it the rule applies to that listing so it creates listing number two and now the listing two also will borrow this rule if this checkbox is on since listing two has the rule and if the rule gets kicked off, kicked in when that listing ends it will create listing number three which itself will have the rule and so on so this is an ever going rule be careful because if you're for example trying to decrease your price every time the rule kicks in it will result in decrementing the price so at some point you may want to just stop the rule and we'll show you how to disable your rules give the rule a certain name by which you can kind of make sense to you and then finally save the rule so I'm going to, going to create one quick rule only if it's unsold quantity unsold and now you keep the original price and immediately and it will borrow so you will say only if unsold quantity unsold original price immediate with borrow so kind of this let's tells me exactly what options I have chosen okay save the rule so the rule has now been created now at this point I see <coughs> I just created the if I want to edit the rule obviously I just click this and then change the rule if I want to delete the rule I simply click this and then I can click the disable enable to disable or enable the rule if the rule is disabled then obviously it won't run and if it's enabled only then it runs and as of now there are no this section of of this interface would have shown all the listings on which this rule is active as of now we have not applied this rule on any listing so this is blank so first thing let's do is how to apply this now we just created the rule now we have to actually use the rule on and listing so that 
two ways to do that. One is when I'm creating or editing an existing listing. So if I'm editing an existing listing by double clicking that listing, automation rule is where I can select my rule. So this is one listing at a time. The other option is I can select all my active listings. Let's say there are 25 of them and then I can do a right click and then we have an option here set realist rule. So realist rule, select the rule. This is the rule to apply, select this rule. So now the rule has been applied to all those 25. And if I go back and see here, uh, I'll have to uh, auto realist rules. Now you see the moment I click that, it regenerates this whole thing. So you see now there are 25 listings, which is what I just did. So this rule now applies to 25 of these listings. So I can select these and I can delete the rule from this listing if I want to or I want from a few listings only if I want to delete this rule I can select those and click on delete rule and then only on the remaining it will apply so that's how you can manage if you want to completely disable across all the listings simply disable the rule by here so that's how these rules work uh, and the rules as I said will apply only when those listings actually end because it's a realist rule so the original listing on which the rule has been set needs to end and depending on how it ends whether it's sold or unsold and what does the rule says whether it was unconditional or whether it's unsold if the rule definition is checked out which all the conditions stated said get satisfied then the rule gets fired and a new listing gets created based on the quantity and the pricing uh, conditions we had set so that's how these rules work and uh, be careful as I said with the checkbox uh, for uh, checkbox for for the borrow because the rule will continue to borrow from one listing to second to third to fourth and never ending process and particularly if you are trying to decrement the price of your listing it will result in decrementing every time a new listing is created relisted so be careful with that option. So that brings us an end to this list, this video. If you have any questions or need clarifications, kindly email support at wonderlister.com. Thank you.